All right, section 2.6, part two. Let's look at a multi-step problem. All right, walking down a hallway at the mall, you notice the music store is halfway between the food court and the shoe store. The shoe store is halfway between the music store and the bookstore. Prove that the distance between the entrances of the food court and the music store is the same as the distance between the entrances of the shoe store and the bookstore. I don't know about you, but I just got lost. So what do we do? We draw a picture, okay? Let's draw a picture in a different color. I have A, B, C, and D. All right, so we know that the music store is halfway between the food court and the shoe store. So the music store is halfway between the food court and the shoe store. Um, the shoe store is halfway between the music store and the bookstore. So the shoe store is halfway between music and books. All right, I have a drawing done. Now, I know I have some congruent parts here, but I'm gonna to try to separate these drawings because, um, for instance, we know that these two pieces are congruent, but then we know that these two pieces are congruent. I want different tick marks to try to make help them make sense. So let's draw just a B and C. I have food, music, and shoes, and I know these two are equal. Then I have B, C, and D, which is music, shoes, and books. We'll say books because there's already a B, so I don't want to confuse that. And we know that these are equal. All right? So, state what is given and what is to be proved. Okay, so let's see. What is given? We know that B is the midpoint of A, C. And we know that C is the midpoint of B, D. Those are the given things. And that was given in the, the paragraph. It says, you notice the music store is halfway between the food court and the shoe store, and the shoe store is halfway between the music store and the bookstore. Okay? Now we want to prove that the distance between the entrances of the food court and the music court, the music store, is the same as the distance between the entrances of the shoe store and the bookstore. Let me see a different color here. So we want to prove the distance between the entrances of the food court and the music store. So that is, we want to prove that this distance is the same as the distance between the shoe store and the bookstore, this distance. So we're trying to prove that AB is equal to CD. Is anyone else tired? That was lots of brain functioning that was very confusing, but pictures help every time, okay? Let's get a clean sheet of paper. I hope you have all that written down. All right, so we have this that's given. B is the midpoint of AC. C is the midpoint of BD. We need to prove that AB is equal to CD. Let's write down what is given. Okay, B, that's is, let's erase. Is the midpoint. of AC and C is the midpoint 
of BD. I just said BD and I wrote AB. Not sure why. BD. Okay, that's number one. And number one is given. Okay, let's look for number two. Okay, because B is the midpoint of AC, you know that segment AB is congruent to segment BC. And that is the definition of midpoint. Okay, for the other segment, you also know that um, BC Segment BC is congruent to segment CD. Same reason. Definition of midpoint. I see something. I just look back at my note card and all my postulates, and I see something that reminds me of trains, and I don't know why. But I see that AB is congruent to BC, BC is congruent to CD. Um, sorry, AB is congruent to BC. BC is congruent to CD. So we know that AB, segment AB is congruent to segment CD because of the transitive property, spelled that wrong, of equality. Sorry, transitive property of congruence. Make sure I get my note card correct. That is an explanation point. So we can say that AB is equal to CD. Definition of congruent segments. We did it! Yahoo! All right, you try. Number five, in example four, does it matter what the actual distances are in order to prove the relationships between A, B, and C, D? Explain, push pause. No, the midpoint is all that matters. I don't care how far away the food court is from the shoe store. The music store being in the middle is what really matters. All right, in example four, there is a clothing store halfway between the music store and the shoe store. What other two store entrances are the same distance from the entrance of the clothing store? Okay, push pause and draw a picture. It'll help. For number six, once I drew a picture, knew where my clothing store was, I know that it's the same distance from the food store or the food court in the bookstore. All right, these next slides are your daily homework quiz. I'm going to write out some answers, but we'll go over them in class. Okay, good job today. There you go, next. Push pause again. There we go. Look it over, push pause in the next one. Number five. All right. Last question. Use the given information to prove the statement. Okay, I'm gonna write it out, so go ahead and push pause. There you go. Good work today, guys.